guys welcome back okay so today i wanted to do kind of like a deep dark smoky just really dark sultry type of look and i figured i wanted to go ahead and try out this morphe and jaclyn hill palette from the vault that's been out forever and i do have all four palettes crazy me i bought them separately because i couldn't decide if i wanted them or not so I ended up buying them <laughs> bit by bit and haven't really used them. So this one is the Dark Magic palette and this is what it looks like. It has, you know, the deep dark greens and blues in here and some really pretty shimmer shades. So I figured since I wanna do something kind of dark and smoky and I do want it to have either like a green or a blue pull to it, I'm thinking green that this will be a good palette to use. So let me do a couple of swatches of this just to see what's going on. Okay, so that's a few of the shadows there. And here are some of the mattes. Okay, so it's not swatching like incredibly <laughs> amazing the shimmer is gorgeous uh, let me take a look at this black the dark brown and the black okay so yeah those aren't too bad i should be able to create something nice with this let's see how they play on my eyes i'm going to go in with my Too faced born this way concealer prep my lids and then i'll come right back and we'll jump right in okay so i'm not sure if i want to start dark to light or light to dark I think I want to go dark to light. Um, do I want to do the blue or the green? I think I'm going to go green because I'm going to do a blue eye look coming up soon. So I'm going to do green. So I'm going to start out with this green shade here. It's a matte green and just place that in my crease. Okay, so that shade, it actually built up very easily. Um, I didn't have any difficulties getting the color and the pigment to show. Built up very, very nicely. Okay, so I basically have my crease color down, nice and dark and deep. I really like that color. It's very pretty, nicely pigmented. I wanna blend out the upper portion of my lid, so I'm going to take this shade here because this one is too light that's more like my brow bone highlight so i'm going to take this shade here and just kind of blend out the upper portion of that green So I'm just using that shadow to soften the edge of that green. So it's not a harsh, you know, transition like this compared to that. So far, I really like this palette. I like how that shadow blended out that green very easily. It's not patchy. I mean, it's working out nice for me. I like it. So now is when I wanna get a little bit deep, dark, and smoky. I wanna put down a black base first before I go into this black shadow. So I wanna take my Morphe. This is actually like a black gel. No, you know what? I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use, <sighs> which one is this? My Pretty Vulgar. Yeah, I was going to use my Morphe Black Cream Eyeliner, but I'm going to use my Pretty Vulgar Black Gel Eyeliner as a base on my lid, just because this one is not open yet, so I don't want to open it. No need to open a new one. So I'm going to take some of this and just put it down as a base on my lid. And I want to be careful. Try not to do too much. So 
So I'm just going to tap that down. And I want to blend it out some. Just kind of tone it down a little bit. So I'm going to take a flat brush that doesn't have anything on it and just kind of blend that black up into the crease just a little bit. I'm not going up too far. I'm just taking it up far enough to blend it into that green. So as you can see, we're already getting a little dramatic. Okay, so I have my lid nice and deep and dark. Very nice base set down. It's not gonna move, okay? Now, what I wanna do, I think, before I go in with the black shadow and kind of smoke it out, I wanna put the pop on my lid. So the pop that I'm going to use today is going to be this, so, so pretty. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush. I'm gonna try it without wetting it first and see how I like it. Okay. <laughs> and when you use a black base, it really will make um, whatever color, shimmer, or metallic that you're putting on your lid is really going to make it pop because it has that deep, dark base under it. So it doesn't look like I needed to wet my brush today. Okay, you guys, I am really feeling this palette right now. <laughs> I like it. I'm not disappointed at all as of yet. So now I'm going to go into the black matte shadow. And I'm just going to use that to smoke out like the inner and outer corners and just kind of blend out the crease a little bit and try not to erase the green. Now I'm just gently taking that green up just a little bit higher. Since my eyes are so hooded, I have to kind of decide how much of the shadow, you know, that I want to be seen. And as you can see, when I open my eyes, <laughs> you really can't see very much. And just blending that out with that first shade Smoky eyes can get a little messy, so I would advise you if you're going to do a smoky eye to do your eyes first, unless you're just an extreme expert and never have any fallout, <laughs> then by all means, do your face first, but it's kind of less stressful when you can do your eyes without worrying about messing up your base makeup too. Okay, so now I'm just going to use a wet wipe cleanup on some black liquid liner and I haven't decided if I'm doing my face on camera or not yet. We'll see when I come back. <laughs> ah, let's go ahead and throw a face on. Why not? Okay, so I'm already moisturized. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer today. I really like this stuff and I try to save it <laughs> for when I really, really want my face to be nice and blurred and primed. But I feel like using it today. I really like this primer. This is one of my favorites just because it really fills in my pores nicely and it mattifies my skin. Although I've noticed lately that I really don't get as oily as I used to. I used to be an oily girl and now I'm kind of leaning more towards normal because I'm not dry. So those changes you go through as you get older, you know. But yeah, I really like this primer. It's very nice. If you like to be mattified. 
If you like something really nice and moisturizing, this is not the primer for you. This primer is for people who have beef with oil. <laughs> if you got beef with the oils in your face and you be wanting them to square up, this is the primer for you. I hate putting on foundation with a hoodie on, but I'm not taking it off. You guys might hear my fan. Look, I live in California. I'm going through some issues right now and I'm getting older. <laughs> so I'm really going through some issues. So I have my sweatshirt on because I was freezing earlier. Now I'm hot, so I got my fan going. Hot mess. But anyways, one of the foundations that I purchased, I think this summer or this spring is the Fenty Beauty. And this one I think is the hydrating one. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I purchased this, loved it when I was using it, and of course started using some new stuff and I forgot all about it. So I'm going to play in this today and see if I still like it, okay? So just in case you're not familiar with the consistency of it, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, this foundation has a very nice, it, I would say dewy, but to me it's not really dewy, even though it's not matte, it just has a nice kind of natural hydrated glow type of look for me, which is going to go away because I powder my face, but it's a really nice finish. It's a nice coverage as well. I like this foundation. I really do. Only thing is it does have a scent to it. It smells a little bit perfumey. So if you don't like that, you might not like it because it's, it's strong enough for me to smell it. I can't smell it so much right now, like while it's on my face, but when I'm putting it on, I could definitely smell it. So since I use my Fenty foundation, I may as well go ahead and use my Fenty concealer. I haven't used this Fenty concealer on my face since I bought it. <laughs> I tried it out um once maybe twice and it's not my favorite i don't know why but i'm gonna try it again today and see if maybe my thoughts might change about it but yeah i didn't really care for this concealer for some reason Yeah, maybe it's the color that I don't like because it has a nice coverage mm, and the finish is a little bit dewy, it seems like. So I'll see how it is after I use my Becca powder. Okay, so yeah, it's not looking too bad. Let me go ahead and put some of my Becca powder. So I'm gonna use some of my Becca Hydra Mist Loose Setting Powder and see how it looks with that. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. <clears throat> Okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way. This is the multi-use complexion powder. Try not to get so much of it all over my sweatshirt. <laughs> I always have powder and foundation on my sweatshirt whenever I decide to wear it with makeup on. And I think I'm gonna use my Hoola bronzer today, only because I can't get to my Morphe Glamour bronze without taking a bunch of stuff out of my drawer. <laughs> so I'm using Hoola bronzer today out of laziness. Although I do really like this bronzer. This bronzer is very nice. You see that? Very nice, rich, cocoa-licious color. I 
Okay, nicely bronzed up. Very nice, you guys. Very nice. You looking for some good bronzers? I would suggest the Hula or the Morphe Glamour Bronze. Okay, for blush. What are we doing for blush today, y'all? You know what? I'm going to go into an oldie but goodie. This is my Milani Red Vino. This used to be the OG favorite. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use this today. Haven't used this in a minute. And this blush does have like a swirl of gold. So, as you can see, it does add a bit of shimmer, you know, when you put it on along with the color. So, yeah. If you don't like that, you might not like this. And typically, I don't. But it's such a slight hint of shimmer that it doesn't bother me as much as just some other outright shiny blushes do. And as you can see, it's very pigmented. <laughs> I didn't mean to go in that hard, okay? So I'm just going to take my powder brush and tone it down a little bit. Okay, and for a little bit of highlight, I'm gonna use my True Complexion Contour Palette. This is the powder one because I'm not in the mood to try the <laughs> to try the cream one right now. So I'm gonna go into the powder. If you haven't seen it, this palette has a bronzer, um, sculpting, a lighter shade, and then a highlight in here as well. So I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. And this highlight is very pretty, but it's very gold. So I actually probably should have went in with something a little bit more icy because of this eye look, but so it's pretty. Takes a little bit of building up, but it's pretty. Okay, so since this is a smoky eye, I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner for my lower lash line. This one is my Milani, what is it, Stay Put. I believe it's waterproof eyeliner nice and black and I go back into the dark magic palette take that green shade that I used in my crease and smoke out my lower lash line I'm being really careful trying to make sure I don't go down farther than I want to. I don't want to have a black eye today. I like that. Y'all, I really hate that I haven't used this palette sooner because I really like it. I mean, and that's the thing, you know, when people sometimes hate palettes or they get a really bad rap and I learned that with the subculture palette that a palette might get a really bad rap and a lot of people might complain about it or say that they don't like the formula but if you really want to really try it for yourself just try it because you never know I mean yeah some palettes <laughs> that have a bad rap it's well deserved and they are trash but this one I'm liking it, okay? So I want an inner corner pop, but I don't want anything too, too aggressive. I wanna keep this nice and dark. So I'm gonna go back into that same shade that I put on my lid and just try to put a small amount of that, I think, on my lower inner corner. And I'm going to wet or spray my brush just so that I don't get a bunch of fallout. But I just want a little bit, just right, just right there. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, just enough so you can see it, but I don't want it to overpower the eye look. Okay, for mascara, I'm still working on my Thrive Cosmetics, you guys. This stuff is lasting like forever and forever. <laughs> this is the Lash Extensions Mascara. 
it's okay. I mean, I'm not in love with it. I like it enough to keep using it until I finish it. But I mean, quite honestly, I really, really want to buy some more of the Pixie by Petra mascara because I love that stuff. But you know, since I'm going on my low buy and I have about 50 other mascaras to use, I'm gonna be good and I'm not gonna buy it. I'm going to finish up my mascaras, give some away, <laughs> and then, you know, I will buy some more of the Pixie. My eyelashes are very difficult, okay? They are very curly, so they get in the way a lot. Even when I'm doing my eye looks or trying to put on eyeliner, they definitely get in the way a lot. So, you know, I don't hate my eyelashes. I like my eyelashes, but they're just extremely curly. So sometimes they could be a little unruly, but I just kind of try to embrace them, love them for who they are, okay? Now, I've actually seen some women go in with a lash curler and use it backwards to straighten their lashes <laughs> because they're too curly, but I am seriously afraid of those things. I'm always, they just look scary to me. Like, I am not trying to pinch my skin or my eyelid into an eyelash curler because my blind butt couldn't see exactly where to put it. Mm, no, <laughs> it's not that serious for me, so. But I've actually seen women use those backwards on their lashes to flatten them and straighten them out. Yeah, not your girl, I can't do it. I'm scared of them. I'm scared, you hear me? So me and my 4C lashes, <laughs> it's gonna keep on keeping on, okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm going bold for lips today. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. If my eyes are bold and my lips are supposed to be nude, my lips are going to be bold today, okay? I'm going in with a black liner. I'm not sure if I'm doing black lips or a colored lip. We're going to see. Okay, now that I have that bold black line on there, I think I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Serpentine lipstick. I was just talking about this lipstick when I went through my green makeup products. Just in case you're not aware, I'm going through my makeup collection by color. So this is the Serpentine lipstick. Oh, it's so pretty. It doesn't really match what I have going on on my eyes. Dang, is there something I can do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Black Velvet Matte Lipstick. And then I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take this green shade that I used in my crease and just tap a little bit of that on my lips so that it will match my eyes. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. And on top of that, I'm going to take some of this shade that I used on my lid and in my inner corner. And let me try to just tap a little bit. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, I'm not playing with y'all today. Mm, mm, mm. That is crazy. Let me tone this down a little bit. What? <laughs> what? Mm, I love it, honey. Okay, this lip ain't gonna be for everybody, but if you know me, it's for me. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go ahead and set this face into place. I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Dream Sickle. This is part of the Rich Lux collection. <laughs> so overall,
overall, you guys, I think everything worked out fairly nicely for me today. Um, I think for that Fenty concealer, I just don't like it. <laughs> for whatever reason, I just don't really care for it. It's nothing wrong with it. It looks fine, but I think I just don't like the way it feels on my face. So, you know, some products you like, some you just don't. So that's one that I don't like. Everything else I am cool with, I'm happy with some old favorites i do still like this fenty foundation as well but anyways this is the deep dark smoky look for today hopefully you guys like it i like it it's a little bit different not something i do all the time but i like it <laughs> and this lip yo i'm killing it i'm killing it with this lip okay don't play with me don't play with me this lip is killing it okay so anyways that's it you guys Please hit like if you're not subscribed. Go ahead and hit that little red button and check your girl out in the future. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!